Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. I have a helper with me today. What's your name? Jonathan and we're in season two. I guess this is math for grade two. So Jonathan thinks it's season two. Our math lesson today has us in our kitchen because today we're gonna to be talking about recipes and tablespoons and teaspoons as well as one cup and half a cup. Jonathan, what is a recipe? A recipe is something that helps you remember what you need to bake with. That's exactly right. A recipe is a list of ingredients and instructions for cooking or baking. And today I want us to review one cup measurement. So Jonathan, I have a question. I have, this is one cup and this is one cup. Which one do you think we would use if we were, had liquid like water or milk or oil? I would say milk for this, mm -hmm. liquid for this. Well, this one is our liquid measuring cup. And it is for one cup or eight ounces. And John, it is for liquid like water or milk or oil. And, and it gives you a hint as to why. Because there's a little spout here so that you can pour it out. It's I don't easier. understand that kind of stuff. You don't? I don't. Well, that's why we're learning it here today. And I am so very glad, Jonathan, that you are learning it with us. Today. And this cup measurement is for dry ingredients. This one is for liquid, and these ones are for dry ingredients. Jonathan, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What do you think the difference is between one cup and half of a cup? Take a look at them. What's the difference? Size? It is size. Which one would hold more? One cup or one half? Cup. You're right, it is one it cup. size, that's easy. It is easy. And when we are reading our recipes, sometimes our recipe calls for one cup. And it can be written a couple of ways. And I would say if you put the sideways like this, I would say it would be three feet. Three feet? Mm -hmm. I think more like five inches, maybe. So we can write one cup with a one and then C. U-P, we would spell cup. Mm -hmm. Or we could just put a capital C for cup. Mm -hmm. For half of a cup, you would actually need two of these because two halves would make one cup. You can really easily see that the one cup measurement is much bigger than the half of a cup measurement. Now, there are some spoons that we are going to look at. We are going to look at a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Jonathan, which one is bigger, the tablespoon or the teaspoon? Te the tablespoon, that's right, because a table is bigger than a teacup. Get it? Tape old? Table. So the tablespoon is bigger than the teaspoon. And we are going to be using those as well as half of a teaspoon. Which one is the smallest? Half a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon. Yes, you're right. You knew that. I didn't even have to say which ones. Our tablespoon is much bigger than our teaspoon. There's different ways that you can write tablespoon on a recipe. You could write out the whole world word you mean tablespoon. Like small, medium, and biggest? Yes. Or sometimes in a recipe, it just has a capital T. And the capital T, the big T tells you that you're going to use the big tablespoon. And the small T is a teaspoon. Class, I hope that you get a chance today to look at some tablespoons and teaspoons, to look at some measuring cups, whether they be for um, dry ingredients or liquid ingredients like milk. And I hope that you have a chance to do some baking today. Thank you so very much for coming and learning with us today. Bye-bye, class.